Hello and welcome to the second episode of the fourth CPSA How to Hit series sponsored by Browning and shot here at South Down Gun Club in the heart of the South Downs. In this episode, we're going to be covering FITAS sporting, but predominantly we're going to talk about the hoop and the procedure at the hoop and which order to shoot the menu on the targets on that particular menu. As I said in the first episode, a squad is normally made up of six people. This old system that we're shooting today consists of three hoops or pegs with a menu on each. Each menu has single targets and pairs. The first man on the squad will take to the hoop and will be shown the singles in the order that they are on the menu. A, E, D, B and C. He will then proceed to shoot those single targets in that order. Being single targets, he's got full use of the gun, that is, he can have two shots at those particular targets. When that first man is finished, he will step out of the hoop and the second man will stand in. When all the squad have shot the singles, then the second man, or the man who went second on the singles, will be first man to shoot the pairs. He won't see these targets because he's already seen them as, sing as, as singles. However, if it was a simultaneous pair, the referee would show him uh, a, set, a pair or two pairs just so he can make his mind up which order to shoot them in. When the entire squad has shot the singles and the pairs, they then move on to the next hoop. When you're in the hoop, unlike English sporting, you cannot pre-mount the gun. You must take the gun to the shoulder, to the break point, without actually having a practice mount. The gun must be touching the body uh, before you call pull, and again, like I said, with the highest point of the stock beneath the line. I'll now show you the A target, as you can see from the menu, because there's no description, it is a standard clay. Pull. As you can see, a blaze Shondell. E, Ms. Trop on the right. Pull. A low blaze standard. D, from the trap at the end of the fence. Pull. Black bateau. B, is a trap hidden behind the bund in the distance. Pull. And finally C, again the standard from the down this screen in the distance. Pull. As in previous episodes of this series, when I'm watching the target, I'm making my plan. I hear where I'm going to shoot it, from my feet position, where I see it, my visual pickup point, and where I'm going to hold the gun, my gun hold point. And I'm deciding which method I'm going to use to hit that particular target. The squad behind, watching, are doing exactly the same. A, the uh, standard chandelle, was presented as a quartering target, so I set that as swing two. I let the curve go past the barrel, swung the gun to it, and shot it at apex. E is a low, fast, standard clay, right to left. To break it towards the, yeah, the browning flag. Brought the gun back, eyes were back towards the C target. C trap, focus on the clay, locked on, pulled ahead and shot it, classic method shot. Batu, the D target, was rising and had to be shot before it curled, was roughly above the, uh, and dropped before the browning flag. Again, another method shot, locked on, pulled ahead and shot, using the line, the rising line of the target. B, a long crossing midi, choose to break it above the C trap, looking back, pick it up visually above the B sign, and pick the target up above the flag, locked on, pulled ahead and shot it. The C target, rising right to left, picked it up, pulled ahead and shot before it reaches apex and slowed and curled away. All but one using the method. And that's a general overview of the procedure to be taken when you get to the hoop, how the targets are presented, how you see them and the order the squad rotates. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how the presentations change just by moving position. <laughs>